on his way to the ring. Rey Mysterio just escaping. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seth freaking Rollins has entered at number eight and that is a prime position for a deadly competitor like Seth Rollins. Double suplex from LA Knight and Seth Rollins there. What would happen if Seth Rollins... <laughs> LA Knight just got speared in half! Bobby Lashley almost putting LA Knight away, but it was LA Knight who was able to get the shoulder up. Rip Cord knee to the face there. Like I was saying, what would happen if Seth Rollins is your ECW World Champion? Rolling under the... Oh! <laughs> That's it! That's it! One, two, no! Bobby Lashley able to kick out of the Claymore kick out of nowhere. I thought it was over for sure. Bobby Lashley being thrown around like a rag doll now. There is so much action happening here. Big time leg drop. Oh my God. LA Knight dropping Drew McIntyre. There has been so many huge moments thus far in this one. With so much competition, you gotta ask yourself, who will be the first to be eliminated? Drew McIntyre lifting up LA Knight, driving him down. Oh my God. God's last gift on the outside from Seth Rollins, who I believe. Oh my God, that double arm DDT to Kevin. Oh no. Oh, the hurt lock applied. Is LA Knight gonna tap? No, LA Knight fighting through the pain. Rey Mysterio on concrete. RVD counters though. Taking out the leg spear. He just speared LA Knight in half again. Move for the cover. One, two, three. LA Knight has been eliminated. Kevin going for the cover. One, two. No, Drew McIntyre able to get the shoulder up. LA Knight, the first man to be eliminated in this one. Take nothing away from him, though. He got eliminated by a former ECW world champion. Bobby Lashley now driving Kevin Owens down into the mat. Drew McIntyre, oh my God. That slam was nuts. Whipping him off, does Kevin now. Drew McIntyre pulling Kevin in, driving him down, my goodness. There has been so much happening. Drew going for the cover, two, three. Kevin Owens has been eliminated. The pack is clearing up here. Sami Zayn though, still remaining. He entered at number one. You gotta think Sami's chances are elevating here as the pack lowers. Can the ultimate underdog do it? Sami with a strike to Bobby there, but turns around, goes right after Drew. Saw a moment maybe of being able to take him out. Turns him around, drives him down. Bobby Lashley, big time STO there. Rob Van Dam back into the ring now. Going for, what is he looking for here? No, Bobby able to counter with a back suplex as Rey Mysterio DDTs Drew on the outside. Bobby, Halufa, no! Bobby was able to counter, but before he could capitalize on Sami Zayn, it was RBD who took Bobby down. And now, quite frankly, RBD might be paying for it. He just got guillotined, one. Two. No, Rob Van Dam able to kick out. Driving the knee into the back of the head here. What could Sammy be looking to put him away with? Kick to the gut. He's going to pull him in. This orange crush bomb yet again. A beautiful move connects. Drew McIntyre nearly taking Ray's life with that one. Goodness gracious. Who's entering at number nine? Who's it gonna be? It is the American Nightmare, Cody, by God, Rhodes at number nine. Oh, and Cody comes in, driving him down with a cop killer. 
Big time clothesline to Seth Rollins. We don't got to talk about their history. Go for the cover. One, two. No, just the count of two. RVD going right after. Inverted Rana on the outside to Bobby Lashley. Seth countering the whip. Brand Buster on Rob Van Dam. Sami Zayn whipping Seth into the corner. Haluma! Oh my God. One, two. No, a counted too hard to see because Freak Bobby's sweaty head was in the way. Blue Thunder. Oh, one, two. No, Rob Van Dam able to kick out. Sami Zayn is a man on fire right now. Bobby Lashley taking Drew out on the outside. Sami Zayn was on fire, but he took a little too much time there to, re to reach in the, the fire that was brewing inside. There is only one more man to come on out here, and we have no idea who it is. Who could it be? Who is number 10? It is the phenomenal AJ Styles. And AJ Styles has done nearly everything there is to do in professional wrestling except compete in the ECW ring and win that ECW World Championship. But he looks to change that here tonight. But entering at number 10, we saw what happened in the women's gauntlet eliminator matchup. It didn't fare too well. So can AJ Styles' luck really be any different? We're gonna have to find out here. Seth Rollins driving that knee into Rob Van Dam's head. Going for the cover. One, two. No, RVD able to get the shoulder up. Cody Rhodes coming in now, slapped to the face. And a couple of push-ups. Little arrogant bastard. Of course, Cody Rhodes' father, Dusty Rhodes, competed back in the day at ECW. Cody Rhodes looking to win the World Heavyweight Championship. The championship that his father never was able to win. Oh, big elbow there from Cody Rhodes to Sami Zayn. Cody now lifting Sami up. What could he be looking for here? Hoisting him up, drives Sammy down. But Drew McIntyre's right there. Wait, Rey Mysterio on the outside, tapped out the Bobby Lashley, but he is not eliminated. It did not take place on the inside of the ring. Rey Mysterio is still in this one. Drew McIntyre lifts RVD up and drives him down into the mat. Going for the cover, one, two. No, RVD able to kick out. One of these men will be your ECW World Heavy. Whoa, Claymore! One, two. No, AJ able to get the shoulder up. One of these men will be your world champion, but who? Who will it be? Oh, the referee just got hit by the Haluma! Sami Zayn was looking for Drew McIntyre, but with so much chaos! The stop connects. Referee back up. One, two. No, Sammy's still able to get the shoulder up. Oh my God, this has been insane. Rob Van Dam on the outside, rolling thunder. This has been barnacles. Oh my God. Cody on the middle rope. Off the middle with the elbow drop. Golly. What could Cody be looking for here? Going for the cover. One, two, three. Sami Zayn will not run the gauntlet. The ultimate underdog story has been finished courtesy of Cody Rhodes. We now know that there are six men remaining. But which of these six men will walk out of here? Your new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Of course, we got a couple of ECW originals still in this one. Actually, half the pack is ECW originals. I mean, you know, there, there's an argument to be made that Bobby Lashley technically is an ECW original, but he is a former ECW World Heavyweight Champion.
Oh my goodness, Seth Rollins, the entire pack's on the outside. Rollins is all alone in the ring. I don't think he minds that per se. This has been an incredible matchup, man. This has been an incredible matchup. Oh my God, Drew McIntyre just got clapped on the outside. And excuse me, by the way, there is seven men remaining, not six. You know, I, I'm not really good at that. Oh my goodness. AJ Styles, the freshest of all these men, and able now to just stay in the middle of the ring if he so pleases. And I mean, honestly, why would you? Why would you go on the outside? I'd stay in the inside of the ring as long as I could. That'd be my game plan if I'm all alone. But AJ Styles, he a different type of cat. He a different type of dog. He's going to go after the competition. Crossroads connects! And that was on concrete. Oh, my God. Seth Rollins just got dropped on concrete. Oh no, RVD drops Drew McIntyre on concrete. Cody Rhodes looking for crossroads, got him! Cody going for the cover. One, two, no, AJ able to get the shoulder up to keep the fight alive. Rolling AJ Styles over, does Cody Rhodes. Going after that leg now. Remember, it was Rey Mysterio who entered at number three. He's the current longest man in this match now. After that beautiful disaster, Cody looking to get the job done. One, two, no, AJ again getting the shoulder up, continuing to fight through the pain. So much action happening on the outside of the ring. And a gauntlet eliminator match, you knew it was gonna happen though. We saw a lot of the same thing in the women's gauntlet eliminator matchup. Oh my God, Seth's banging off that guardrail now. So much action, but so will there be more next week as of course we- Oh, Claymore! Oh no, Cody might have his story finished tonight. No, he was able to get the shoulder up. Oh my God, Bobby Lashley now lifting RVD up. The World Television Tournament championship tournament begins next week as well as we're going to see some tag team action in the full-blooded italians tony d'angelo and channing stack lorenzo go up against diy's johnny gargano and tommaso ciampa no rvd almost eliminated there the mcintyre dropping rollins down cody rhodes now has mcintyre possibly where he wants him Turns him around, just to scoop him, crossroads! Crossroads connects and that could be it. One, two, no, a count of two. Drew McIntyre surviving. AJ Styles, looking for the Styles clash. He got it. Go for the cover, one, two, no. Cody able to get out of it. This has been insane, man. Rollins going for the cover. One, two, three. Rey Mysterio has been eliminated. We're down to six. One, two, three. We are down to five, just like that. Bobby Lashley and Rey Mysterio eliminated back to back. There is only one original ECW member left in this pack, and it's Rob Van Damn! Seth Rollins now going after Drew McIntyre. He has him up. What could he be looking for here? Oh my God. Oh my God. Superplex! Roll through! He did the deal! One, two, three! We are down to four! Cody Rhodes! AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, and Rob Van Dam. There can only be one. Who will it be? Who will be able to get it done here? Oh my goodness, this has been incredible. This has been outstanding. Rob Van Dam! 
risking it all, but neither man falling. What a matchup this has been, man. Oh my goodness. AJ Styles getting rolled into the ring by Seth Rollins. Oh, Cody Rhodes! Pele! Cody just got chucked against that steel pose. That was insane, man. AJ now working over that leg. Maybe getting a little weakened for a calf killer. Rob Van Dam on the outside lifting up Cody Rhodes. Where is AJ Styles going? AJ off the top, big time clothesline. Dropping Seth down, going for the cover off of it. One, two, no. Seth able to get the shoulder up, keeping his aspirations alive for that ECW World Championship. Whoa! Cody Rhodes, cross Rhodes. He's got AJ Styles down. One, two, no. AJ kicks out. RVD looking to capitalize on Cody Rhodes right away. Not giving Cody any time to breathe here. Not giving him a single second to bring in some oxygen. Has the arms hook. Drives him down into the mat. Rob Van Dam lifting him up, looking to end the story of Cody Rhodes. But Seth! Seth! Oh my God! Seth Rollins! Curb stop! Going for the cover! One, two, three! Rob Van Dam has been eliminated. There will be a new world champion for the first time in one of these men's careers. Cody Rhodes lifting Seth up. Drives him down into the mat. Going for, oh my God, just wrenching on that leg here. Wrenching on the leg. Cody Rhodes now going to lift AJ Styles up. Gets him all the way up. Drives him down into the ring right after. My goodness. Oh, what's Cody looking for? Chucking AJ Styles across the ring. Cody now going to the outside of the ring. Look at this. Look at this. We are down to three. And what a history that Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes have with one another. And you know. No! AJ Styles. This has been incredible. Which one of these men will carry ECW into the new era? Will it be Seth Rollins? Will it be AJ Styles? Or will it be Cody Rhodes? Back and forth action on the outside of the ring, man. Back and forth action. Counter for counter, tit for tap, back to back. All three of these men want that championship as a matter of fact. Oh, and Seth Rollins looking to cause pain. Oh, what a ripcord, Larry, but he's up on his feet! Cody Rhodes is on his feet! Oh my God. Show what some strong style did Cody Rhodes there. A little bit of the fighting Spirit running through each and every single one of these three men. We started with 10. We're down to three. But only one can be the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Cody now just throwing Seth Rollins around the ring. And I think Cody set his eyes on AJ. And look at this. All three men circling the ring. All three men circling the ring. These three men being cautious. They know what must be done if they want to walk out of here as the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. They are going around and around and around and around. Who is going to be the first to grab one of the other men. Are they, are, are they just doing laps? Hey, breaking the fourth wall here. Hey, 2K, what the hell is going on here, man? Can we, can we get this fixed? What the, what is going on? What is happening? Here we go. Cody Rhodes with a chop to AJ Styles. If you notice, there was a cut there. There's a lot of lap running happening, so I just cut to where they finally met up. Sorry about that. Blame 2K. Oh, my goodness. What a sling blade there to AJ Styles. Seth Rollins now with those kawada light kicks. And Rollins going to whip Cody Rhodes into the ring. One of these three men are going to walk out of here as the world heavyweight champion, but which will it be? 
Big time forearm there from Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins here going for a kick to the gut. But no, Cody was able to roll out the way. Cody has him hooked. Drives him down into the mat. AJ Styles right there though. Drives him down. Oh my God. Going for the cover. Can Cody be eliminated? One, two. No, Cody was able to get that shoulder up. Able to last a little bit longer. Able to survive a little bit longer. Pop up. Styles Clash connects. Oh my God, that's got to be it. No, Cody Rhodes continues to fight. Big time in Zagiri there by Seth Rollins to AJ Styles. Cody Rhodes lifting Seth through his feet now. Big chop. Oh my God, flurry of blows from Cody Rhodes going for the cover. One, two. No, Seth, of course, going to get the shoulder up. Cody can't believe it, but I got to be honest with you. How could you not? There is no way in absolute hell Seth Rollins is going to go out like that when the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. AJ Styles now got eyes set. Oh, Cody Rhodes turning him around. Crossroads. It connects. Here we go. One, two, three. AJ Styles has been eliminated. And Seth Rollins gets caught with the beautiful disaster. Oh my God. Cody's got the legs. Figure four. Figure four. Can he finish the story? No. He's going to let him go. We're down to Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. This has been incredible. One of these two men will walk out of here. Your ECW World Heavyweight Champion. But who? Who will it be? Who will be the winner here tonight? Oh my God. Will we see a story finished by Cody Rhodes? Or will we see Seth freaking Rollins show that yet again he is, without a shadow of a doubt, a main event player, a top tier athlete, Cody Rhodes with a pedigree. Oh my God, you know that's gotta be a little insult to injury there to Seth freaking Rollins. Knowing now that it will either be Cody Rhodes or Seth Rollins, you have to wonder how will it fare with each of these men being the flag bearer of ECW heading into the future? What will happen under the tutelage of Seth Rollins for this entire company? What would happen under the thumb of Cody Rhodes as world champion? We're going to find out soon enough as these two men continue to do battle until one of them just can't go anymore. Seth Rollins lifting Cody up. Kick to the gut. Here we go. This might be it. Curb stomp. Seth going for the cover. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that, Seth freaking Rollins is your new ECW World Heavyweight champion what a matchup what an episode of ecw hardcore hotline if you haven't already hit that subscribe button today like the video if you did as well and as always and forever take it easy though guys peace after winning the ECW World Heavyweight Championship in the Gauntlet Eliminator match, it is now time we hear from our ECW World Heavyweight Champion. And would you look at that? Seth Rollins with an ode to a former ECW World Heavyweight Champion in Raven. Wow, man, look at that championship around the waist of Seth Rollins. It came down to Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Cody Rhodes. Then it came down to Cody Rhodes 
and Seth Rollins. Ultimately, Seth Rollins picking up the win and being the man to grab the flag and carry ECW into the new era. But what will Seth Rollins have to say here in the ECW arena live on ECW Hardcore Hotline? I think it's time we find out. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Extreme Championship Wrestling. Welcome to the new era of Extreme. Welcome to the era of Seth Effin Rollins. It's only fitting that a revolutionary like myself is the one who leads the new Extreme Revolution in pro wrestling. Cody Rhodes, you tried your damnedest to put me away one more time, but you couldn't get the job done when gold was on the line. <laughs> ECW was one of my favorite companies to watch growing up. And I always wanted to know what it would be like to step foot inside of an ECW ring. Go figure, the first night I do it, I become the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. A champion that every single one of you can be proud of. A champion that promises to elevate this entire damn company, even if I have to put it on my damn back to do so. I now bleed those letters E-C-W. It's my promise to every single one of you that I will carry the torch of those who came before me and I will lead E-C-W into the promised land. You all heard Paul Heyman last week. He said this was the land of the misfit toys and I know that life all too well. I was struggling on the independent scene for years and years before I got the breaks that I did. And when I got those breaks, I made the absolute most of them. And that is exactly what I am gonna do here in ECW. I am gonna make the absolute most of this opportunity. I know how special this company is. I know how special you ECW Philly fans are. I know that I am gonna come out here night in and night out and give you my absolute all every single time. I'm gonna make sure that this company stays alive and well no matter what I have to do. They've called me so many things in my career, a revolutionary, a messiah, even an architect, which I think is the most fitting of them all right now. Because as your ECW World Heavyweight Champion, I am going to build the prestige in this company even higher than it once was, brick by brick. When it's all said and done, they're going to say that the Extreme Revolution was led by its forever ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. They're going to say that the ECW Arena was a fitting name all that time ago, but now it'll be forever known as Seth fucking Rollins House. Wh what? No! No way! There is no way that he is here in the ECW arena. I'm looking through my notes and I have nothing about this man being here. Seth Rollins clearly pissed. There's no way. Oh my God. Swerve Strickland has arrived in ECW and he is cut off. Seth Rollins, wait a minute, I'm, I'm being told we're out of time. No, it's just getting good. I must have lost my mind somewhere along the way. That's the only thing that would make sense out of everything you said. This is Seth fucking Rollins' house. Whose house? Swerve's house. You must have forgotten what I've done in that arena, Seth. You must have forgotten how much blood I've spilled in that arena, Seth. I'm going to make you remember whose house it is, though. That isn't the reason I cut you off last week, as easy as it sounds. I cut you off because you have what I want. You have the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. With that championship comes responsibility, a responsibility that I know you're not ready for. You've been spoon-fed every opportunity for the last decade, while I've had to earn every single thing I've gotten. You think you're a leader. That's why you marched down to the ring the first chance you got. You tried to rah-rah the crowd. You tried to rah-rah the boys in the back. And a lot of these dudes ate it up. I'm not hungry for bullshit, Seth. 
sorry not sorry. I know the type of dude you are. You're fake. The style you got is fake. The charisma you have is manufactured. You're not the realist, Swerve is. I always get what I want, Seth. So we got two options now. Either you give me a shot at that championship and you prove all that bullshit you was talking was real, or you don't give me the shot and trust me, you won't like what I'll do if you don't give me the shot, Seth. You won't like the links I'm willing to go to get that championship. So what's it gonna be, champ? You got a week to decide, and I'll be waiting for you next week. And at whose house? Swerve's house. It is finally time to hear Seth Rollins' answer to Swerve Strickland. Will the ECW World Heavyweight Champion give Swerve Strickland the answer that he is looking for? We know tonight that Seth Rollins and Swerve Strickland will go face to face and right now it doesn't seem like seth rollins has a single care in the world of course two weeks ago rollins came out donning that raven-esque fit tonight wearing one of the shirts of his own the ecw world heavyweight champion making his way down to the ring and after last week's uh let's just say attack verbally by Swerve Strickland. I know I am oh so curious about what this man is about to say. So without further ado, let's take it away and let our ECW World Heavyweight Champion talk to each and every single one of you. Philadelphia. How are we? Are you kidding me? We barely got in four words from the champion before this man, Swerve Strickland, has yet again cut off the champion. Swerve making his way down to the ring, and now Swerve Strickland yet again has taken the spotlight away from Seth Rollins before Seth could even say anything. Oh my God. We at least thought Seth Rollins was gonna get a few more words than he did in, but nevertheless, Swerve Strickland cutting him off and it's time for Swerve Strickland and Seth Rollins to go face to face. Oh, no, 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 no. You have cut me off one too many times now, Swerve. I'll cut your ass off as many times as I want. Right, right, of course you will. You're the ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> I've got to give it to you, though, Swerve. For someone who can never win a championship, you certainly know how to talk like you're one. Seth, don't be mistaken. The only reason why I'm not the ECW World Heavyweight Champion is because they never included me in the Gauntlet Eliminator match. Everyone knows in whose house that I would be the ECW World Heavyweight Champion if I was in that match. All right already, we get it. You're saying the same exact thing you did last week. Remember last week when you threatened me if I didn't give you a title shot? Swerve, I'm not afraid of you. However, I am a man of the people. As much as I don't agree with it, this Philly crowd loves you. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity to get a title shot. If you agree to it, next week you'll be in one-on-one -on -one action. You'll go up against a man of my choosing, and if you can win that match, I'll give you an ECW World Heavyweight Championship match at Barely Legal. What do you say? I'm in. Who is it? Who am I facing? Oh, Swerve. <laughs> You'll find out next week. Now, guys in the truck, hit my music. Are you kidding me? Next week, the stakes are so high. Seth Rollins has given Swerve his opportunity, but who will Swerve's opponent be next week? 
It is now time for our main event of the evening. It is time for Swerve Strickland to make his in-ring debut here in EC. W and what a debut match it is. If Swerve Strickland wins here tonight, he will face Seth Rollins for Seth Rollins ECW World Heavyweight Championship at ECW Barely Legal. But who is Swerve Strickland's opponent? That has been the murmuring for about a week now since we found out this was going to happen. That is all that we've ever been able to think about is who is Seth Rollins going to choose to go against this man, Swerve Strickland. There are so many people that fit the bill, if you will, of who Seth could pick. He's got many, many acquaintances he has met over the span of his career. But who did he choose to face Swerve Strickland here tonight? That is the million-dollar question that's about to have a million-dollar answer. Whoa, wait a minute. I didn't expect Seth Rollins himself to be on his way to the ring here tonight in our main event of the evening. Who did he choose? Who is Swerve going to be going up against? Who could it be? Oh, wh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's Buddy Matthews. Of course, Buddy Matthews was a longtime follower of Seth Rollins nowadays Buddy Matthews follows in a different house but maybe just maybe that is why Seth Rollins has called upon Buddy Matthews to be the opponent for Swerve Strickland here tonight maybe he knows that Buddy yes used to follow in his footsteps and he knows him better than many these days Oh my God, of all the people in Seth's career he's ran into, Buddy Matthews, while absolutely fitting, was not on my list, no way, no how. But Buddy Matthews versus Swerve Strickland, nonetheless, your main event of the evening, and it appears that Seth Rollins is going to be at ringside for this one. My question now is, Buddy Matthews always runs with a pack. He's still wearing that House of Black insignia, if you will. So are the rest of the members coming to ECW as well? That's a different question for a different time. But for right now, Swerve Strickland, Buddy Matthews, it is time for our main event of the evening. Will Swerve Strickland earn a shot at the ECW World Heavyweight Championship? Out the gate, Buddy Matthews hit Swerve with a Michinoku driver. Taking him to the ropes here. These two men are very hard hitting, very fast athletes in that ring. This is a main event that could main event any building in the world. My God, what a Yakuza in the corner. Matthews out the gate has shown exactly why he was Seth Rollins' choice. Going right after Swerve. Oh my God, he just yeeted Swerve out of the ring. Wait a minute. Buddy looking to take flight. Tope! God, ring, ring. Hello from Buddy Matthews. My God. He swerved, pun intended, into the sky and took him out right there. My God, swerve is going to have to battle back if he has any hope of making it to barely legal. We're at a count of five, of course. Official Aubrey Edwards for this one. Swerve dropping Buddy Matthews. They're just going at it. Uh-oh. Swerve now back to the ring. Not wanting to lose this match by count out. Oh, look at that. Just taunting in the face of Buddy Matthews. But that's something you don't want to do. You don't want to underestimate Buddy Matthews. He is a hard-hitting son of a you-know-what. He is going to go after you any chance he gets. Swerve, though. Nice arm drag. Cartwheel. Big drop kick to follow suit. And Swerve following that up 
with a deadlift. German suplex, but Buddy back to his feet only for Swerve to pick him right back up and to guillotine him right there. You know, in the opening moments of this matchup, Buddy Matthews was absolutely dominant. And you got to think, that's probably because Swerve Strickland could not prepare for this matchup. He had no idea who he was facing here tonight in our main event of the evening. What a shot there to the gut. Swerve, leg drops the arm of Buddy Matthews. Buddy grabbing the ropes, pulling himself out right there in front of Seth. Rollins, Seth has just been watching this match thus far. Uh-oh, well, he's about to have a front row seat as Seth Rollins, oh my God, bears witness to Swerve Strickland backdropping Buddy Matthews on the apron. And look at that, Swerve walking around the ring very smartly, creating as much separation as he can from himself and Seth Rollins. Swerve taking a breather here, oh, look at that. Look at that, oh, but Buddy now also a little arrogance there. Both men locking up, Buddy Matthews whipping off Swerve, drop down, get your eagle on, picks him up, oh, arm drag up into the neck breaker, but it's Swerve kipping back up to his feet only for Buddy Matthews to pull him back into a knee strike. And the lights might not be on at the Motel 6. Big knee strike again, if they weren't, they certainly are, aren't after that one. Buddy Matthews has just been hell bent on the attack to Swerve, not resting at all. Calling for Swerve to get to his feet. He's a little far out though. Buddy realizing that getting off the top rope, instead opting for a, oh my God! That power bomb, vicious and malicious, but only for a count of one as Swerve was able to pop his shoulders off of the mat. Buddy Matthews now lifting Swerve up and guillotining him again on the top rope, swerve to his feet, but Buddy is stopping him at every chance he gets. What a leg lariat there. My God, big overhead kick though, swerve getting right back into this. We know next week is the go home show now for ECW, barely legal swerve. Oh, so badly wants that World Heavyweight Championship opportunity, but Buddy Matthews looking to prevent it with a back suplex of his own onto the apron. Oh, he just swept the leg. Lock and swerve down on the outside of the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Swerve's head clipping off the apron on that stomp. Referee at a count of five is Aubrey Edwards. Count of six, come on. We don't want this to end via count out. We're at a count of seven. It's Buddy Matthews taunting in the corner. Count of eight, Swerve hasn't moved. Oh my God. Count of nine, Swerve running, he makes it! He saves it, but Buddy Matthews right back on the attack. And again, he kill a team Swerve on the top rope. My God. Buddy Matthews has had an answer for every single thing Swerve has thrown at him. What an incredible display here in the main event of ECW Hardcore Hotline. This is an incredible debut for Buddy Matthews. Oh my God, the combination connects. And Buddy now going to the top rope. Oh my God, off the top with a double foot stomp. That could be it. Here we go, one. Two, no, Swerve able to kick out at two, getting the shoulder up, keeping the fight alive, keeping that aspiration alive to get that ECW World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. Earlier tonight, we saw Cora Jade lose that opportunity against Rhea Ripley. Oh my God, will Swerve's fate be the same? Buddy Matthews kicked to the gut. He's gonna lift him up, Matthews Law connects, that's it. One, two, no! Swerve gets the shoulders up again, continuing to fight through the pain. Buddy Matthews now with a kick to the ribs. Oh, but Swerve fighting back. Where is Swerve going? To the corner, off the corner, takes the arm. Big drop kick from Swerve. Oh my God. 
Swerve lifting him up now, whips him off, catches the arm, arm drag into a big drop kick right on the money, honey. Oh my God, lifting Buddy back up, low leg kick, big strikes. Swerve looking to strike, but no, Buddy Matthews with a big forearm and another Matthews Law. My God, that's it. One, two, three. Oh no! My God, Swerve! I thought it was over! Swerve kicked out at the last possible second and he rolled right out there by Seth Rollins. Referee at a count of one now. Oh my God, Matthews bouncing Swerve off the apron. Swerve battling back though, throwing him into the steps. We're at a count of four. Count of five. Buddy Matthews needs to get in and he is. He's gonna break up the count at a count of six as Seth watches on. Gets him up, no counter by Buddy Matthews. I mentioned it earlier this evening, but with Buddy Matthews' arrival here at ECW, you have to think, will the House of Black be following oh so soon? Oh, what a cover there by Buddy Matthews. Going for the cover one. No, just a count of one as Swerve was able to get those shoulders up. And it's a big knee from Buddy Matthews to the back, the small of the back of Swerve Strickland. Buddy now with a snake eyes. Taking Swerve out right there. My goodness. Swerve crawling under the ropes, trying to at least cause just a little bit of separation. Big forearm, nice counter by Swerve. Swerve up and over into the ring, going around, big time. Wait a minute, house call! That's gotta be it. One, two, three, it is. Swerve Strickland has picked up the win and he will headline ECW barely legal against that man on the outside, Seth Rollins for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. What a win for Swerve Strickland. Seth, I hope you're counting down the days the hours, the minutes, the seconds. Cherish the time you've got with the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Hold it nice and tight every single day for the next week. Relish in it, because after ECW Barely Legal, you will never feel that championship again. You thought Buddy Matthews was gonna stop me? <laughs> you could have picked anyone in the world, and the result would have been the same. Swerve stock rises and Seth gets scared. You know it's over now, don't you, Seth? You can feel it in the air. <laughs> Barely legal is about to be a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Phoenix Nitro here, joined by the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth, thank you so much for joining me before the show tonight. I've got to ask you, though. How are you feeling just seven days before you defend the ECW World Heavyweight Championship? <laughs> really? How am I feeling? Come on, man. You're smarter than that. I feel great. Why wouldn't I? Well, Seth, last week, Swerve Strickland defeated your hand-picked opponent, Buddy Matthews. Correct. Well, I just think that the decision to choose Buddy Matthews, your former disciple, only for Buddy to lose, had to affect your judgment, maybe? My judgment? The reason why I picked Buddy is because I knew win or lose, he'd take Swerve to his limit, and that's exactly what he did. I called upon a favor to a different house, and they gladly obliged for old time's sake. The outcome didn't exactly matter. So what you're saying is you're fine with the fact that Swerve defeated Buddy Matthews and now has a chance to take away that ECW World Heavyweight Championship from you. I guess you're not so smart after all, Phoenix. That statement you just made is rooted in the idea that I'll lose in seven days at Barely Legal. You're saying that Swerve Strickland has a chance in hell at defeating me. And look, I get it. He's phenomenal in that ring, but there's a difference between being a flash in the pan and being on the top of the mountain. I am the ECW World Heavyweight Champion for a reason, yet everyone is starting to question how I won this title to begin with. Well, it just seems that... It just seems that you're falling into the same traps that the ECW fans are, Phoenix. You're believing in the hype of Swerve too much. 
for someone who is so unproven at this level, much like my wife is dealing with currently, I'm just getting called out by somebody who isn't on the same level as me. Simple as that. At ECW Bailey Legal next week, I'm gonna prove to everyone that I'm going to be champion around here for a long damn time. I'm not a flash in the pan. I'm not a quick clickbait draw. I'm Seth fucking Rollins, your ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Next time, have a few unbiased questions. We're done here. Well, nevertheless, thank you for your time, Seth. It is now time for your main event of the evening at ECW Barely Legal. Seth Rollins set to defend his ECW World Heavyweight Championship against this man who made an impact in ECW the moment that he arrived and cut off Seth Rollins. It was back when Rollins was celebrating winning the World Championship on our second episode of ECW Hardcore Hotline where Seth Rollins claimed that the ECW arena was his house, which sparked Swerve Strickland arriving. Swerve has now earned this match after running the test that Seth Rollins put forth in front of him and that was a one-on-one -on -one match against a man of his choosing which turned out to be Buddy Matthew Swerve won that matchup and tonight he gets his shot tonight he has a chance to finally win a world championship in a major promotion but to do it he has to defeat this man and that by every stretch of the imagination is no easy task Seth Rollins won the ECW World Championship in the 10-man gauntlet eliminator matchup which brings us to tonight Rollins has not has not competed since then however Swerve the fresher in terms of ring rust of the two I wonder if that's going to play anything inside of that ring here tonight but when you have the caliber of talent that you do with a Seth Rollins there's no way that's going to be possible there's no way that there's going to be any rust this is somebody who can go in there, who can do whatever they must, who can do whatever they need to do to get that win, to get that championship back around their waist. The time for back and forth banner, the time for smooth slick talking is over. It's now time to get down to the fisticuffs of the situation. It's either going to be Seth Rollins' house or it's going to be whose house? Swerve's house as the ECW World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Your barely legal main event, Swerve Strickland, in one of the biggest matches of his professional wrestling career here tonight as he stands toe to toe with this man right here, Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins claims to be a fighting champion. Seth Rollins claims that he will fight for ECW. And tonight, he's got to fight to keep that championship around his waist. ECW, ECW, ECW. And you hear this crowd. Aubrey Edwards showing Swerve Strickland what this match is all about. And there we see it, the ECW World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Swerve Strickland, Seth Rollins. And here we go. And Swerve out the gate with a bicycle knee. 
Oh my God, Rollins though with a kick right after. This is not gonna be a quick matchup. There's no way possible. Granted, I mean, with that curb stomp and with that house call, it could put your lights out like that. But these two men are absolute savants in the technical wrestling game. They're savants at that catch wrestling style. They're savants at that best countering style. Count of one there. When you got two men in the ring, you got two wrestlers in the ring who are absolutely fantastic at counter wrestling. You know you're in for a treat. I mean, hell, let's talk about what we just witnessed with Rhea Ripley defending her ECW Women's World Championship against Chris Statlander. They were neck and neck that entire matchup, and it only took one move to put it all away. Swerve now going to the outside. Of course, no disqualifications, no countouts. Swerve has a trash can. <laughs> Seth Rollins went for a tope con. Hello. As Swerve threw the trash can at him. He jumped up and over the trash can, got clipped, didn't get all of Swerve because of it, but he got just enough. My God. That was insane, and we are only just beginning here tonight in this main event matchup. Big knee from Seth, drop swerve. That trash can now sitting up. That is a dangerous, sharp object. Very sharp metal there. You don't want to clip that with the way that it's sitting. You're going to get busted open. Oh, my God. Seth now leapfrog. Sling blade connects. Swerve getting back to his feet. Seth charging in another sling blade. Swerve back to his feet. Rolling elbow. No. Swerve was able to hit him with the mafia kick there. Swerve getting hit with a third sling blade there. Back to his feet. Seth Rollins on a symphony of sling blades tonight. You saw the sign back there in the crowd said Seth will never quit. I don't think Swerve will either. One, as you see right there, only a count of one. Seth now whipping Swerve off. Leapfrog coming in hot. Drop down, get your eagle on. And another sling blade. How many sling blades does it take to put Swerve down? I guess we'll never know. What a forearm there. Almost a knee drop, I'd say, as well. Big bicycle kick, baby. Uh-oh. Swerve now. No. Seth able to shove Swerve away. These two men are absolute dogs in the game of professional wrestling. Oh, big back elbow there by Swerve. Swerve now going towards the corner. Springboard's out. Nice arm drag there. Kips up. Drop kick. Stop. It looked like Chris Boschneck looked like an ostrich. What a drop kick. Coming off the rope. Swerve, I believe, busted open if I just saw correctly. Yes, he is. Swerve now bleeding. It looks like maybe when he got hit in the corner in that buckle. Oh, what is Rollins? Oh, my God. If he wasn't bleeding before, he certainly is now. My goodness. Driving the knee into the skull of Swerve right after as well. For driving that arm down into the mat. Seth coming off now. Another. No. Went for the knee drop for a second time. Swerve had it scouted that time. Big knee there. Almost to the, to the thigh region of Seth. Swerve has him in the corner now. Lifting him all the way up to the top. What is Swerve thinking about? No. Seth battling back. No Swerve battling back now. Oh, my God. They are in such a dangerous position here. What in the hell is Swerve looking for? No way. No way. No way. Inverted runner. Takes Seth Rollins down using the ropes to pull himself back up. Swerve's got the trash can now. Oh my God. Just batters Rollins with it. Springboard, Moonso, no, catches him with a nice, phenomenal-esque DDT. Stomp on the ankle does Swerve already, of course. Swerve Strickland, as I mentioned before, looking to win his first world championship in a major promotion. Kick to the gut there by Seth. Kawada light kicks from Seth Rollins, blistering Swerve there. Looking him off into the corner. Charging in, big forearm. 
Throws him out now. Seth Rollins coming in hot. Big, big lariat to the back of the head of Northern Lariat connects. And an Enziguri right after. Kick to the lower back now. And Seth Rollins almost scouting Swerve. Calling for him to get to his feet. Seth Rollins might be taking flight. So bad. Ring, ring, con. Hello. Connects. And Seth now looking under the ring. Pulling out a steel chair. We know Seth knows a thing or two about a thing or two about a steel chair. And he is letting Swerve know exactly what he knows about it. With the chair down on the mat now on the outside. Very thin padding on the outside. Don't get it twisted. Swerve lifting up. Seth drops him on his head with a brain buster. And Swerve now pulling out a kendo stick. The Sandman would be proud. No drop kick by Seth Rollins. And it's a knee drop right after. These two men are going at it with so much animosity over a lot of heated words the past few weeks. You knew it was going to come to stiff shots here tonight. Oh, my God. Seth throwing Swerve right into the steel post. Big knee to the lower back. And Seth now stomping on the ankle. Lifting up Swerve. Big Enziguri connects. Seth looking to lift, lift Swerve up yet again. Has him hooked. Big suplex connects there. And Seth Rollins now almost scouting Swerve Strickland. Pulling out, what is that, a stop sign? Yes, it is. We saw the stop sign being used to a dangerous degree in that ECW World Television Championship match earlier this evening. And Seth, oh my God, nice counter there by Swerve. Swerve still fighting through the pain. Seth, though, going to lift him up. No, Swerve going around. Has him hooked. Just throwing Seth Rollins around. With this being the first night of no countouts, no disqualifications. You got to think going forward in ECW, this is what sets the pace for the future hardcore hotline episodes for our future pay-per-views. Barely legal is the first of many. What a stomp there to the arm of Swerve Strickland. Seth lifting Swerve back to his feet now. Hitting him with a nice combo there. Gets him down. Oh, my God. A little Avada Kedavra, if you will, from Seth Rollins. Rolling Swerve back into the ring. What could Seth be looking for now? Oh, my God. He's got wood in the main event. Grabbing that table does Seth Rollins. The question I have now is, oh, wait, Swerve. Wait a minute. Rolling out of the way. Hoist him up. Oh, my God. No way. JML Driver. One, two, no. Seth Rollins kicks out. I thought it was all she wrote right there. Seth Rollins is getting called to his feet. Rising up. Swerve on the top. Big crossbody. No. Rollins rolled through. And body slams him down on the metal of that table. Kick to the gut. No way. No way. Curb stop. Connects. Is that it? Is that it? One, two, three. No! Swerve Strickland fights on. Swerve Strickland fights on. Whip Swerve into the corner. Does Seth grabs the trash can. Oh, my God. Went for a big shot. Misses. Kick to the gut, though. Slams him. No counter by Swerve. Swerve Strickland. Sees the finish line. You just got to keep going. You just got to keep moving. One, two. No. Seth kicks out at two. Big double stomps there to the back. Two back to back. We know Seth's had back problems in his career history. That sign back there saying the best are here. You best damn believe it. ECW presents you the absolute standard in professional wrestling. Swerve Strickland here. No big boots there by Rollins. 
And Rollins now lifting Swerve to his feet. Swerve taking Rollins down. Reverse DDT. Swerve now going to the outside. What can he be looking for here? Pulling out a ladder. I guess that's one of the ones we had left over from our opening contest tonight. Swerve Strickland has just pulled in more lumber, more hardware into the ring. Whipping Seth off. Arm drag connects, cartwheel, drop kick, but he lands hard on the metal of that table. That could not have been good for Swerve, but the adrenaline is running inside of him now. Oh my God, Seth with a big kick to the top of the dome. Swerve though going around, takes him down. Shout out to the Steenski. Uh-oh, lifting him back up now, does Swerve. These two men giving it everything they have for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship tonight. Swerve, big kick to the ribs. Gonna lift Seth all the way up. Oh my God, is Swerve looking for it again? Seth trying to put the brakes on, but Swerve going back to the well. Firing off those elbows. We saw this earlier. And inverted Rana taking Seth down to the middle of the ring and Swerve now. Listen to this crowd. Crowd chanting, this is awesome. Swerve going to the top. Could he be looking for it? 450! Connects going for the cover off the 450. Will we have a new champ? One, two, three! Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Swerve Strickland shows everything he said he was, he is. Everything that Swerve Strickland proclaimed has come true. Whose house? Swerve's house here at Barely Legal. What a win for Swerve Strickland. You really thought, huh, Seth? You thought you were gonna walk into barely legal and get an easy title defense. Look at what happened though. Everything I said that would happen. I told you, this will never be your house. This will always be whose house? Swerve's house. This will always be whose championship? Swerve's championship. This will always be whose era? Swerve's era. Now let's kick it off right tonight. I don't wanna talk here forever. I wanna see some action. Welcome to ECW Hardcore Hotline.